Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. As you all know, this channel is all about photo printing, although I do have a family playlist. Basically, it's about non-printing subjects, having to do a little bit about with my family and some of the other activities that I am involved in. I also have a drone playlist where I discuss flying and photographing and videography from the air. But we're going to talk about just what we normally are interested in, and that is just simply producing prints at home. Now, most of us and most of you, I should say, probably have your own phototype printer at home that you have been struggling with, basically, maybe, or having a completely fabulous time producing prints. You're getting what the monitor is displaying, and everything is hunky-dory, as they say. But those of you who do not have a printer, you may be sending your work out to be printed by one of the many providers out there. Camera companies also have a photo printing service. You could be also maybe going over to your local Costco and having your work printed there, whether you send it in by email, as we all have to kind of do nowadays, or not. Here's the thing that a lot of people get wrong, and we're just gonna just talk about, you know, you wanna produce something like this or like this pardon my terrible arrangement here or like this or even something as mundane as just me taking a selfie from my drone you want to be able to get something at least as closely accurate to what you are seeing on your monitor and of course you have to calibrate that monitor so that it matches the output that your printer if you do have one or someone else's printer can produce of the standard evaluation image that is the secret once you have that printed using whatever instructions they provide you you bring it over to your monitor next to it that is and now you have to match your monitor to match that output because that's going to be your standard from which you are then going to proceed to edit your own private images. So you need some sort of standard. Otherwise, you're going to go nuts. All right. So what most companies will do is they will provide you with an ICC profile. They may offer services on several types of media and they will have a different profile for each one of those different types of media. What do you do with that profile? You don't have a printer, right? So here's what people have been doing. They have been using that profile and soft proofing through that profile to sort of get an idea. This is assuming, of course, your monitor is calibrated. Otherwise, it's all futile. It, it, it means nothing if your monitor is not calibrated. So you're going to view your image through that profile, and then you're going to perform your editing through that soft proofing method, okay, and process. That will give you an approximation, it's always simply an approximation, never 100% of what that image will look like printed on whatever printer they are using on whatever media you choose to print on or have them print on for you. So you're just gonna use that profile simply for soft proofing. Here's where people make a huge mistake while they are soft proofing, they hit file safe. Basically, they are embedding that look that you are getting through that profile into that image. Guess what? When you send that to them, they're going to print it through that profile as well. They have no clue what you were doing. They assume you just soft proof and then you got out of soft proofing mode and send them your edited image without embedding of any any kind of profile basically the image has been edited while being soft proofed through that icc profile they provided you that's all you're supposed to do use that profile to soft proof your images you edit them till they look okay to you the way you want them to again that's assuming your monitor is calibrated and then they are going to receive that image and they're going to print it through that same profile they provided you. Do not embed that image with that profile or that profile in that image and then send them 
that image, okay? Double profiling, you have all heard about that. That will cause very, very inferior looking results, okay? So I will just leave you with this again. When you are using a private lab and they provide you with an ICC profile, make sure that you only use it for soft proofing. In other words, you want to see what it might look like printed on that particular media by whatever printer they are using. Those profiles they provide you are specifically made for their printers and their media and their ink, okay? And you are only supposed to use them to soft proof your images. I cannot say that enough times, okay? Do not embed your images with those profiles they provide you and then send them those images it's going to get double profile. They have no clue what you just did. So they're going to print it with that profile on top of your embedded profile. <laughs> yeah, it's going to look horrible. You're not going to be happy. All right. Thank you so much. By the way, make sure you're here this weekend. That's all I got to say. Live stream. If you're not, you're going to be sorry. Period. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. As always, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.